So I just finished uh, a live stream in which I opened my first box from DMM Games. And this is the Legend Clover collaboration. And I just did some research. And yeah, there is like, a, I think the name of the character is Cleopatra in the JRPG game of Legend Clover. And I haven't pulled her from my my first box in the live stream, box in the live stream. So yeah. I really want to pull her, or maybe I just have to, to buy the single card, but yeah. Since I have two boxes available, I thought, yeah, maybe I I just want to open the second box and see if I just can pull the card myself. And we have like one box topper, and I really do like the, the card quality and the, the foiling of these cards. They look so nice. They look a little bit bright with all my lights on, but I hope you can see how cool these artworks look. Now, this set is not like super loot. I know that there are like some collaborations from DMM games with artworks that are pretty loot, but this one not so much. Yeah, but for like Japanese. For Japanese, it's not that loot. Of course, for us, like Western people, or for like people who just regularly open Magic: The Gathering, it's of course it's loot. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's see if I can can pull the missing cards for my ancient uh, ancient Egypt collection. So we have like a, I think most cards, uh, most booster packs have a foil card. This is just a, a normal rare parallel foiling. But I do really like that the foiling pattern is just in the background. It's not it's not on the character itself. So the character is still very good visible. Not like in some other TCGs where the foiling is going over the the character. And it's more like annoying. Yeah, this is this is one of the cards I, I needed for my collection, but I already have pulled her. And I think this really translates to, to, to Tutankhamu. I think I, I looked the name up. So the, the waifu version of Tutankhamu. Not the card we are looking for. The, the foil card I'm looking for is a VR rarity. And this is like this one. It's not her. Uh, there should be like two or three VR cards in a box, so there's there's still hope to pull her, but with the amount of different VRs, I think there were like at least I don't know, have I still the card gallery open? Probably not. I think there were at least like seven or eight different VR cards. Yeah, another one from this. I think two of the two or three duplicates I had in my in my first box duplicates for your rares. But nothing, no double VR card, which is nice. And oh, this is uh, what was her name? Was her name Isis? I think she was another ancient Egyptian character. And then we have like the pirate waifu with big guns. But yeah, this uh, this TCG is not. I think it's, it's at this point it's basically dead. Like DMM Games is doing something different. They have a new TCG. I don't think this gets this gets more support in the future. And it's a duplicate. No, another VR card. But yeah, usually these boxes are or were quite expensive. They were like 12 to 13k uh, Japanese yen. And for for Japanese TCGs, this is a lot of money. Like uh, ZX boxes cost like around four to four to five k. So it's basically double or triple the price of. ZX boxes, 
And also V-Cross boxes are like between 5 and 6k or sometimes you get them even cheaper in the sale. So for Japanese TCG, these are expensive. I don't know if it's because of the, the collaboration with the games they are doing. This could be the case, but yeah, I know nothing about how to play the game. For me, it's just uh, some nice foiled artworks. And hopefully, yeah, some nice additional cards for my Ancient Egypt collection. I have to check if I can, if I cannot pull, pull the Cleopatra card, if I can buy the single card somewhere. No, it's not her. I think this is the last VR in the box. I could be wrong, but I don't think I got a lot of VRs in my, in my first one. I have to check if I can can buy single cards with some of these niche Japanese TCGs or like niche for for us in the West it's a little bit difficult to to get singles but this is a nice looking rare card really do like the, the coloring of this one Yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think about the artwork of this TCG. I got some more boxes, like I I bought the boxes I found uh, in the sale, like for sheep. Don't have all of the releases, just the one that I didn't sell. And I think there was like one box that I didn't like felt interested in. It was like a no artwork that I... Yeah, that I really liked. Oh, another duplicate. So we are getting quite a few rare duplicates again. I think like for, for one box, I, I did skip because it had like the very generic. Oh, one last, one last chance. No, uh, it has like the very generic old anime art style of very big eyes and yeah, of course this is like normal for anime but if you if you would see the artwork you would understand what i mean it's like very like 20 years ago anime style and i didn't like it oh another duplicate so yeah this t uh, this set i didn't picked up because i just don't resonate with the art Another, yeah, rare foil. There are like some male characters in this set too, but I, I actually do like the, the character designs for the male characters in this one too. And another rare. There's like a rarity above VR, yeah. Oh, also like the secret rare. But these, I think the secret rares are always numbered. I'm not sure. There are like numbered cards you can pull. Another rare. And last booster pack from this box. Ah, oh, then I, of course, I haven't prepared the Force of Will pack to end the video, but I will do this after that. Yeah, not the Cleopatra, of course. Maybe I will try to just buy the single card or try to pick up one more box, but chances are that I would just end up with more duplicates, so probably not a good idea. So yeah, for more unboxings, please uh, check out my channel and maybe give the video a like. This would help a lot with the algorithm. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.